How does pain perception work? Pain perception is a complex process that involves the interaction of various physiological and psychological factors. It begins with the activation of specialized nerve endings called nociceptors, which are found throughout the body, especially in the skin, muscles, and organs. When tissue damage or injury occurs, nociceptors are stimulated by various harmful stimuli, such as extreme temperature, pressure, or chemicals released during inflammation. These nociceptors are highly sensitive to these stimuli and generate electrical signals in response. The electrical signals generated by the nociceptors are transmitted through nerve fibers, specifically A delta fibers and C fibers, to the spinal cord. A delta fibers are myelinated meaning they have a protective covering that allows for fast transmission of signals and are responsible for the initial sharp and localized pain sensations. On the other hand, C fibers are unmyelinated, resulting in slower transmission and producing dull, throbbing, and longer-lasting pain sensations. Once the electrical signals reach the spinal cord, they are relayed to higher brain centers, particularly the thalamus, which acts as a relay station for sensory information. From the thalamus, the signals are further relayed to the somatosensory cortex and other brain regions involved in pain processing, such as the anterior cingulate cortex and the insula. At the brain level, Pain perception is not solely determined by the intensity of the sensory input but is also influenced by various factors. These factors include previous experiences, emotions, expectations, attention, and cultural influences. For example, if someone has had a negative experience associated with a particular stimulus, such as a needle prick, they may perceive similar stimuli as more painful. Furthermore, pain perception can be modulated by descending pathways from the brain, which can either enhance or inhibit pain signals. These pathways involve the release of neurotransmitters, such as endorphins and encephalins which act on receptors in the spinal cord to regulate the transmission of pain signals. It is important to note that pain perception is subjective and can vary greatly among individuals. Factors such as age, gender, genetics, and overall health can influence how individuals perceive and tolerate pain. Additionally, Chronic pain conditions can lead to changes in the pain processing system, resulting in heightened sensitivity and altered pain perception. In summary, pain perception is a complex and dynamic process involving the activation of nociceptors, transmission of electrical signals through nerve fibers, relay of information in the spinal cord and brain, modulation by various factors and the subjective interpretation of pain experiences thanks for watching please like and share this video also hit the subscribe button ring the notification bell and let's embark on a journey of knowledge together